Can you please tell me how much of a salary can a mechanical engineering fresher expect today? Okay, any mechanical engineer for this aspect can expect a salary between 2.5 and 7 lakhs. 6 to 7 lakhs, yeah. Why is that band very huge? Okay, now the case is like if a mechanical engineer is starting his career in tire 3 industry, he can expect a salary between 2.5 to 3.5 lakhs. Tire 2 industry, it is again 3.5 to 5 lakhs. Tire 1 industry, again 5 to 6 lakhs. And Tire 1 and OEM, it is between 5 and 7 lakhs. Now, what is this OEM, Tire 1, Tire 2 and Tire 3? Nissan is an OEM, for example. Okay, Nissan is an OEM, which produces the car, the end user product. For completing this car, you will need windshield glass. Saint Gobain is producing windshield glass. So, Saint Gobain is a Tire 1 industry, who directly gives their parts to Nissan. Right? For Saint Gobain to produce these windshield glasses, they need some raw materials which they procure from someone else. So that raw material company is a tire two industry. That and it goes on like that. Okay. If the raw material guy wants something to be procured from someone else, it is tire three. Say for example, now if you start your career with a tire three or a tire two company, your salary might start from 2.5 to 3.5 4, somewhere there. If you start your career between tire two and tire one industry, your salary might fall between 3.5 to 5 lakhs. If you start your career with tire 1 on an OEM, your salary might fall between 5 and 7 lakhs, which is today's trend. Now, the million dollar question here is, how do I increase my salary or reduce this gap between 2.5 and 7 lakhs? A person who is working for tire 3 and tire 2 industry should concentrate or focus working or moving towards tire 2 or tire 1 industry. Similarly, a person who is working for Tier 2 or Tier 1 industry should focus moving to an OEM or a Tier 1 industry. And likewise, a Tier 1 industry person should go to OEM and a OEM person should try to look for an opportunity on another OEM. But this should not happen on a quicker basis. A person should stay in this company for at least 3 to 5 years time. So, he or she experiences multiple projects and multiple life cycles of a product. Right? With this experience and the exposure, when you move towards multiple companies, when you move towards multiple industry, a person who had started with 2.5 lakhs at the end of his fifth year, his or her fifth year, might easily be having or earning two times of their salary in which what they started. If I started with 5 lakhs, I would have been, I, I would, I would easily receive around 10 lakhs at the end of my fifth year. Similarly, at the end of my 10th year, I can easily receive four times of the salary what I received. When I, when I started my career. If I started my career with 5 lakhs, at the end of 10th year, I can easily reach to up to 20 lakhs on my CTC. The point here is, you might have started anywhere, but your focus should be on a particular place where, for which you will have to develop your skill sets and be upskilled to the market standard and the market demands. Hope I have given some clear picture about uh, the salary expectations or the salary situations for mechanical engineers. See you all in the next video.